Hey everyone, what's up? Open World Games here. Hope you all are doing good today. And yes, I recently went hands-on with Borderlands 3. I'm here at a special event held by 2K Games. And of course, Gearbox. Special thank you, by the way, to 2K for flying me out to LA to check out Borderlands 3 and giving me this rare opportunity to go hands-on with the game. So it meant the world to me for sure. So we're going to be talking about my first initial reactions in this video today and first we're going to start out with this boss battle because for me this was really the highlight of the experience this boss battle was so much fun in my opinion so well done in borderlands 3 uh i was just so impressed by the way this comes from this footage you are seeing here comes from one of my live streams i did check out my live streams in the description below don't be afraid to pop in and say hello uh i usually live stream basically all the time so come on in it's ton of fun when i see you guys drop in especially from my videos here on youtube but here we go so yeah this uh this boss battle was so good and here's amaro's uh special move it's like a ground slam move and that's the move i really really wanted to get and i couldn't believe i found it i was like yes this is the move i really really wanted so we're playing as a sign right now we're facing off against gigamind and trust trust me this battle will be worth it. you're going to be seeing a really cool legendary weapon from this battle in just a moment but the pacing of the game felt really good the combat felt really tight and you know what i really like about the combat and i know it's something so simple is the slide maneuver it adds a lot of maneuverability in the battlefield being able to get around and it doesn't hurt that the weapons themselves are so dang cool let me tell you what the weapons are just badass in this game uh, so there's a wide variety of weapons and uh, uh, you're, you're able to basically switch between different elementals for some of the weapons because of alt fire. So there's alternate fire modes for some of these weapons. As you can see, yes, I am an SMG guy. I love the SMGs in this game and I got basically what I wanted for my loadout. I mean, there were sniper rifles on offer and stuff like that. Sure, you can really mess around with your playstyle and really get in there. But I feel like Amara really works in terms of guerrilla warfare close quarter combat action and there it is oh there is the legendary that i was talking about this thing is so freaking cool it's called the smart gun extra large or whatever it's called but what's really unique about this weapon is that it's tied to the boss itself so this boss was like the giga mine so uh when you deploy the turret the special from the weapon or just throw the weapon for reloading <laughs> it actually pops out this brain turret this wacky crazy uh brain that has eyeballs and you're like what in the hell is this thing and this thing actually shoots laser beams from its eyes i don't know how gearbox comes up uh with some of their stuff but uh it's hilarious and i want to mention that the actual story and stuff is really funny it feels on point to what you uh, actually expect from a borderlands game but that is so freaking funny and uh yeah you can see that there's already you know legendary weapons in the game that are tied to you know bosses and stuff like that uh so i was really impressed with what i was being given already within the certain amount of time i was playing and then one of the developers came over and was like hey dude do you want some more weapons and he did some sort of input command which of course this is not going to be how it is in the game he was just letting me try a wide variety of weapons i'm like sure man i gotta see all these weapons so he gave me a ton of these weapons and i was like it was like christmas day i had so much weapons just to goof around with and um there's just so many uh different types of varieties in terms of also the alt fire mechanic in this game is going to add a lot it's not just elementals that you could switch back and forth between so like for example you could pick up a weapon and you can switch between fire and then corrosive or something like that but you can also pick up a weapon and will give you the option uh to switch around between like for example sticky grenade impact grenade or you know the grenade will bounce around or whatever so a lot of options in terms of just you know that alt fire which i was really impressed by and adds just that extra layer to the to the game which uh, i think really does help and you can see how different see this is one of the weapons that has the impact grenade on it impact style of uh you know hit i guess you would say and then you could change uh it to sticky grenade so i thought that was really cool but there's a lot more 
uh, to the game. As you can see, beyond just the weapons, we're looking at Mara here, and she has such an impressive skill tree. And the moment I sat down, I thought to myself, I really, really want to play as the Siren, Amara, but I also want that Ground Slam move. So I immediately went hunting for it, like on the skill tree, and I found it under the Brawl, uh, you know, skill tree here, as you can see. But what was really cool, eventually, as I hit certain levels in the game, you can uh, actually start unlocking augments to that ability if you want to. So it started out initially as like a shock ability where you go in, you see this electrical like effect, storm type effect around her as you slam the ground. But you can alter, uh, you know, uh, alter it in a way where it can actually become corrosive damage. So, yeah, I thought that was uh, super impressive that you, that you can uh, go into uh, that type of detail with your weapons. And there's further different variations on augmenting your character's abilities, of course. And there's different skill trees as well with each character. Of course, I didn't get to try Zane. They only allowed us to try one character, you know, at this session. Like, pick a character. Which one do you want? I'm like, Amar. Let's go for Amar. Let me know what character you guys really want to play as. I know you guys want to see Beastmaster. And I hope to get Beastmaster gameplay up eventually here on the channel. So, yeah, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. Look out for constant coverage on all things Borderlands 3 because I got you guys covered going forward. It's going to be a super exciting year for sure for Borderlands fans everywhere but yeah i was uh i walked away for the most part really impressed with this game and i felt like the gameplay flow was also nice now when we speak about graphics you can see they have not abandoned the look of what makes borderlands as a franchise so special they really kept this like cell shaded uh, i don't i don't call it like cartoony look but it definitely feels like that i personally love the art style and i'm so glad they kept it to the roots of borderlands now i did notice like instances of loading pop-ups you know like the textures would pop in and stuff so i hope that's reduced in the future going forward but that they were so kind of like far and few in between and i was also really impressed with the metro level which we got to explore that's the one level guys that i really you know i wanted to explore this neon type city and i actually got to do that there's also like an outskirts area to it and the world is similarly built like you would expect a Borderlands game where it's like kind of like, I guess you would say hub open worlds and then you move on to the next one. There's a little bit of a load screen. You can have vehicular warfare, uh, which I did get to try the cyclone type vehicle. Hope to have gameplay up of that one. But uh, yeah, just exploring uh, the actual world itself is a real treat here. And here's another battle with another assortment of weapons. So take a look at this one this is like a, a pistol arm pistol thing it like wraps around your arm and you just stick out your arm and you shoot and i thought this thing was so freaking cool it has smart bullets on it and everything uh so yeah uh really impressed with that one now going forward let's talk a little bit about the future of borderlands 3 which personally i'm thinking is looking pretty bright like i'm just gonna say it they've done such a good job listening to fan feedback and avoiding so far at least avoiding some of the issues in the gaming industry today they're really not doing anything pay to win so that's good news now i'm really hyped to get into playing of course on sanctuary you know you've seen that demonstration sanctuary 3 here and uh, we saw this on the demonstration it's something we did not get to access uh, in our play time in our play session and it's really something I really really want to get into and I think it's going to be a very special part of Borderlands 3 I couldn't believe they went this in depth with just the hub space and what's really cool and noteworthy here is characters from previous Borderlands games practically everyone that you know of is going to be making some sort of return in this game which makes me absolutely thrilled you'll be able to roam around your own spaceship here and then also, like, I, I guess you could say fast travel through, like, space to other planets. Uh, you can see, like, the full warp effect. But this spaceship is so beautiful. And dependent on your character, your personal space is actually going to be changing. So I thought that was freaking awesome. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to have trophies. You'll be able to put, uh, you know, your favorite weapons up on the wall. Or maybe you're done using that weapon, but you absolutely loved your time with that weapon and you really want something on the wall to remember that you can put that up there as like a 
a trophy, a nostalgia type thing, which I thought is so freaking awesome and such a cool decision by Bioware for sure. So just to recap, my personal experience with this game is I am extremely hyped for it. It's much bigger than Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 was overall very well received, of course. And uh, yeah, overall, I have honestly stepped away impressed with my short time. Mind you, this is like a short time experiencing the game, of course. But um, uh, I just can't wait to dive back into it. Like the gunplay felt really good. The humor, by the way, was really on point with this game. The story felt like a true Borderlands story. Even like the side quest, there was this ridiculous side quest just about getting coffee. That was freaking hilarious and ended up being not just like a... Uh, like a five minute side quest end up being like a 20 25 minute side quest which i i was really impressed with how that one unfolded within this open world space you're going everywhere in this open world space just for that quest uh, so it felt really really good uh just with the design the gunplay the humor the characters the enemies you were facing the abilities and the progression felt really good as well so overall guys i'm going to say i was really impressed so stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Borderlands 3 action. Really looking forward to seeing more from this spaceship. Man, I am so hyped to get on this spaceship on Sanctuary 3 here uh, and actually go exploring in the universe itself. And the spaceship just looks gorgeous. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I will see you all next time. Take care.